Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna film from the floor. So that means Miss is gonna join us. That cat right there. Um, why we're doing that is because um <clears throat> my light in the living room sucks and it's too late and there's no daylight, so bear with me. Anyways, in today's video, we are gonna talk about things you should know before turning 20. And since my birthday is tomorrow and I'm gonna turn 20, here are the things that I've learned so far in life. Okay, I think the most important one is probably that I've learned not to do stuff just because others do it, but to do things because I want to do it and not because I feel pressure to do things. I just feel like we all like by society norms, like you go to school, then you graduate, you get a job, you get in a relationship, it really doesn't matter. You get married, you have children, and you live life like everyone else. And I think it's important that you like choose if you want to do those things, maybe you don't want to have a relationship, maybe you don't want to have children, you have to figure out what you actually want and ask yourself, do I really want children or is it just because society is making me feel like I need them? Do I really want to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or is it just because I feel like I have to have one? Another thing is don't ever be too desperate for something. If there is this person you love but you know they don't love you back and no matter how hard you try, they are not going to like you back, don't. Keep wasting your time with that person. Or even if it's just a friendship and you really want to be friends with them but they don't put any effort into it, know when it's time to say goodbye and stop wasting your time. And speaking of self-worth, it's the same with sticking up for yourself because that's the way people are going to treat you if you set down boundaries people cross them do something about it at the end of the day people treat you the way that you let them treat you respect does go both ways if they don't respect you why should you respect them another thing i've learned is if you're too nice people will literally take advantage of you and see that as a weakness but yeah if you're too nice and you never say no and you do things even though you don't want to do them and you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and stuff you end up actually hurting yourself because you do things you don't want to do and by being nice like too nice to other people they know they can just ask you for any favor because you don't say no because you have that reputation you can be nice but there's like a limit know your self-worth another thing i've learned is there is no good without any bad so we would never actually appreciate things if we didn't have any negative experience let's say um you had a toxic relationship and then you get together with a nice guy you wouldn't appreciate them as much but if you come from something negative and go to positive you appreciate the positive way more than you would have if there wouldn't have been ne a negative in the first place another tip if you are able to save up for your retirement right now just start now because the sooner you start the less you actually have to like put into your retirement and the more you will actually make. Let's say you put $100 aside each month, it's gonna be like 1,200 each month and that's gonna add up. When you retire, you're gonna have that extra cash. Another thing is get rid of toxic things in your life. I don't care if it's your work, if it's your family, if it's your friends, if they do you wrong and they just make you feel miserable all the time, cut them out of your life. I know a lot of people they don't love their job, that is fine. But if you go to your job and you feel miserable and they just make you feel bad, that ain't the right job for you. It's the same with a family member or friends. If they always make you feel miserable, mm -mm, you don't wanna have them close to you. You wanna have people close to you or a workplace like that brings out the best of you, that inspire you to do better and that just have an optimistic or positive influence on you instead of a negative one that just keeps dragging you down. Cause you're already your worst critic. You don't want a best friend or a family member or your work to bring you down even more. Another thing, make your own decisions. Of course, yes, you can take advice from others um, since they have experience and stuff, but at the end of the day, you have to live with the consequences. Be confident enough to make your own decisions. I think this one's a pretty obvious one, but take care of your body. Like hygiene-wise, uh, drink a lot, stay hydrated, eat healthy stuff. You don't have to have like the most perfect diet ever, but just make sure that your body is healthy. Because when you get older, that's when you're going to notice when you didn't do that. Speaking of taking care of your body, get enough sleep. I know, yes, oh, you're young and now you can party all night. But don't forget to sleep. 
because um, if you don't sleep enough, you can actually die earlier. If you sleep too much, it's also unhealthy. So just find the perfect in between, which would be around seven to nine hours. Another thing is self improvement. Love yourself, but also do self improvement. So push yourself and go beyond your boundaries. Go beyond uh, outside of your comfort zone just to experience new things. Because if you don't, you might regret stuff that you haven't tried just because you were too scared to do something. Like for me, it was um, serving. I was scared to serve because I didn't know if I could do it. You know, so much responsibility. And I just wanted to be a host. But at the end of the day, serving made me a more social person because I am forced to talk to people. I used to be a very, very shy person. Like I wouldn't talk to strangers, but I am forced to do it now, which really helped me. A, a very big change for me to learn was you will gain and lose friends throughout life. Either because you move or you just grow apart. It is very hard sometimes to let go of a friend, but you will know if it's worth it or not because if you're the only one trying to keep up with the friendship and it's just a one sided thing, you don't want that. That's wasting your time, you know? So just let them go. You will find new friends. Some friends actually stick around, but some just don't. Another very important one I had to learn was to leave the past behind because it happened in the past, it affected you in the past, it does not affect you anymore. For example, um, I got bullied in school, and I remember that affected me like big time, and I was very insecure about it. And I always felt sorry for myself, because it's like, why did that happen to me, and um, was it my fault, what would I do in the situation, stuff. And instead of infecting me now, I just, you know, I know it happened, I acknowledge it, but it's not gonna affect my current life because I'm not being bullied right now. And it's the same with other stories. Instead of feeling sorry for yourself, you know, just give your little inner child a hug. Give yourself time to heal. But if you heal, move on. It's like with a breakup. Imagine you break up with someone and um, you cry and you cry and you cry. After a year and you're still crying over the person, how are you supposed to move on? How are you supposed to meet a new person? If you stay in that same situation the entire time, a toxic situation, things then don't do you good. Because usually the things that we live in the past are usually negative that we hold on to. I mean, even if it's positive, try to live in the here and now because this is what is, is affecting you. Live in the here and now. Another one I have to get used to is try to see criticism as like a feedback instead of like someone attacking you. Of course, it always depends on how people word it. But criticism should be like something to improve. You know, you don't always just get positive feedback. Like take the negative feedback, take out the negative part and just listen to what you can do better and try to improve yourself because it's all about self growth. Imagine in school when you had a math problem wrong and the teacher told you it's wrong. You didn't like be like, oh my God, you just call me a liar. You didn't get like offended about it because you knew the math teacher was right. And you wanted to improve to know it better. See the same with a job or with other stuff. I mean, I'm not saying everyone's always right when they criticize you, but instead of taking it as a, a direct attack, see it as like advice. You don't have to take the advice, but at least don't like always feel offended by it. Okay, a very, very important one in my opinion is spend as much time as you can with your loved ones, your friends, family, your pets, whatever you love because you never know how long life is gonna be you don't know how long they're gonna be around you don't know how long you're gonna be around and you don't want to regret you know not doing a certain thing so live your life like there's no tomorrow if you are very organized like i am and you try to plan your own your entire life when you're a teenager here's a little thing i gotta break it to you life doesn't go the way we plan it life doesn't go as we expect it to be i was not expecting <clears throat> to have this one right here. I was not expecting to live in this apartment. Um, I was not expecting to be a waitress. I was not expecting not going to college. I was not expecting to be happy to be single. Life surprises you even if you have a plan out. It might just totally go a different way. So instead of trying to live your life by a pre-written list that you have, just let every day come the way it is and see what life has to offer you. The last two advice I can give you is first, do not be a people pleaser. Be a you pleaser. Because you come first, you have to live with yourself, you have to live with everything you do. And at the end of the day, the person you are looking at the mirror at is the coolest person ever out there. Listen, you were there when you were feeling terrible. You were there when you were working your ass off. You were always there for yourself. Even if you were doubting yourself, you were physically there. 
So give yourself some more effort. You are like the best friend you can have. And I want you to start treating yourself like that. Instead of being your worst critic, how about your real best friend? Because would you ever talk to your best friend the way you are talking to yourself sometimes? Would you tell your best friend you think they're too fat? Would you tell your best friend you think they're ugly? Would you tell your best friend they're freaking annoying? Would you tell your best friend they should stop eating all that chocolate because it's not good for them? No! You'd be like, you go girl, because that's how you treat your best friend. And that's how you should treat yourself, because you are the best version of yourself. And you can improve, of course, to become a better version. But right now, that is the best version of yourself. And if you don't like it, you can always change it. But do it for yourself and not for others. And this is also my last advice. You come first. Not in a narcissistic way, okay? It's not always just you, 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 you know? But since you are you and you would like to be happy, maybe you should put yourself first, you know? Maybe you say no to something you don't want to do. Maybe you shouldn't be nice to someone if they snap at you for no freaking reason. Maybe you should also spend as much money on yourself than you do on others. Invest in yourself. Invest time and invest money, invest happiness, do what you want to do because you are amazing. So yeah, this is the last time you're gonna see me as a 19 year old. So, hasta la vista chicas. I'll see you when I'm 20.